Hi everyone, this is Craig Robertson with uh, UNM uh, Innovation Plaza in the ECE building, the Electrical and, and Computer Engineering building. Um, I'd like to give you guys a little bit of an overview of uh, how to turn a function like this. So this function up here, uh, you know, it's, it's kind of big, it's not easy to visualize, and usually, you know, you're just given a sum of min terms and you just list them right there and then you continue on your day. But how do you put a function like this into a truth table like this? And the answer is uh, you don't do it all at once. A lot of people get uh, a little scared of it. You know, they think, oh, well, I don't know how to do that. That's ridiculous. And then they try to do the Boolean algebra. They mess it all up. It's a, uh, let me show you a uh, pretty quick and relatively painless way. Uh, to do this, and I think it'll help you in your studies. So, what I like to do is I like to uh, divide and conquer. That's kind of my engineering mantra is just, you know, like divide and conquer. So what I want to do is I'm going to start on the inside of all the parentheses. And I'm just going to take this part right here, A plus B. And what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to make a sub-column that says A plus B. And I'm going to go ahead keep everything neat and I'm just gonna draw a line there alright so now what we're doing is this is an A or B so what we do is we just cover up these two columns right here and we just look at A and B right because we don't care what C and D are for just this little operator so A is a zero, B is a zero, that gives us a zero here and it does the same thing there and it does the same thing there and it does the same thing there. You'll notice <clears throat> that it does the same thing four times in a row because of the way that the truth table is laid out especially with these first two terms. There will be sort of a pattern just to this first one though. So 0, 1, we know that that's a 1 same there, same there, and same there. That's because A is 0 B is 1. That returns a logical OR of uh, 1. So, 1 and 0. 1 and 0 ORed together, that's a 1. Same with this. Same with this. Same here. Now, 1 and 1, 1 and 1 ORed together is a 1. So, and it's the same here. 1 and 1. 1 and 1. 1 and 1. So, we have kind of the first part of our column just broken down and I'll highlight in this in green so that you can see where it's all kind of leading to. Now what we want to do is we want to add just one more step of complexity, right? This is part of our divide and conquer method. So now we need to end that with a not C. And so what I end up doing here is <coughs> what you can do is you can uh, just kind of do it in your head um, and say, all right, well, this is zero, not C. Well, that would be, you know, uh, uh, y you can kind of do it in your head by turning the zeros to ones and the ones to zeros. But what I like to do is I like to just add another column uh, and just label it not C. Just another intermediate column here. So we go C not there. And what I do is I just flip the bits. So if C is a zero, C not's a one, right? So I'm just going to do that all the way down. If C is a 1, then C0 is going to be a 0. So what you do is you just flip all the bits from the C column. And this makes it just a little bit easier in my head. And I don't know, I may think a little bit differently than most people, but it uh, if I break it into more steps, it makes it less likely that I'm going to make a mistake. So then we can do this whole section here. So A plus B ended with C not right? So, let's go ahead and make another column. And let's say these two ended together, so all I'm looking at is these two columns, right? Because I have A or B, A or B, ended with not C. So, let's go ahead and do this. 0, 1, ended, that's a 0. This, same. 0, 0 ended, that's going to be a 0. 0 again. 1 and 1 ended, well, that's going to be a 1. Same here. 
1 and 0 anded, well, that's going to be a 0, a 0. 1 and 1 is a 1 and a 1. 1 and 0, that's going to be a 0. 1 and 0, that'll be a 0. 1 and 1, that'll be a 1. 1 and 1, that'll be a 1 as well. And these two, 1, 0, 1, 0, well, those are both going to be zeros, right? So, what I've done now is I've completed that orange part of the equation, just right here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to transpose the D column up here. That way they're side by side. Because if I'm trying to look, you know, across all these columns and trying to figure everything out, you know, chances are you're going to go a little bit cross-eyed and then you're going to look at that column instead and make a mistake and then your F, your final product, will be wrong. So, let's go ahead and just transpose the D column right there. So, I'll just copy this D column exactly because it's not knotted or anything. So, I'll just go down and copy this D column. That way they're right next to each other and I don't really have to worry about it. So, <coughs> what we end up with here is now I'm going to finish the entire equation. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to say that this is F, because this is equal to F, right, of A, B, C, D. So, what I can do here is I can say F is equal to this or this. So I'll just say equals A or B times C naught or D. So, this will be our final column right here. So what I'm going to do, I'll just block that off. <clears throat> My final column here will be these two or together, right? Because this is my orange column. And this, D here, that will be just this column right here, which is really just this column right here, but I brought it over here to make it a little bit easier. So, 0 or 0 is a 0, 0 or 1 is a 1, 0 or 0 is a 0, 0 or 1 is a 1, and I think you get the key is it's just the small logical operator. 0 or a 1 is a 1, that's another 1. One, zero, one, one, zero, one. So, as you can see, uh, right there, that final column is going to be my F. That's going to be this function right here. So, that'll be my blue function. That will be F, which allowed us to plot this entire equation inside a truth table. And from here you can put into a K-map, you can simplify it, or you can put into VHDL and um, check your output. But I hope this helps in your studies. Uh, once again, I'm Craig Robertson um, from Innovation Plaza at UNM in the ECE building. And uh, good luck. Come visit us if you have any questions. And uh, happy studying.